to write the name for FEP, we first need to realize that FE, that's iron, that's a transition metal. Phosphorus, that's a nonmetal. So we're going to use these rules to write the name for FEP. First, we write the name for the metal as it appears on the periodic table. FE, that's iron. Next, we're going to write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. P, that's phosphorus, lowercase p. And then we'll replace the ending, this O-R-O-U-S, with I-D-E. So far, we have the name iron phosphide for FEP. But remember, we said iron, that's a transition metal. So when we have a transition metal, we need to write the charge on the iron in between these names. Phosphorus, that's 3 minus. It's always 3 minus. So for these charges to add up to 0, iron has to be 3 plus. So we'll put parentheses and a Roman numeral 3 between these names here. So that makes the name for FEP iron 3 phosphide. If you were given this name and asked to write the formula, you'd know that the iron would be 3 plus, so you'd only need one phosphorus ion. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.